do these three things and be delivered from anything that has been troubling you. Number one, locate a man or a woman of God who has your deliverance. Remember, whenever God schedules your deliverance, he schedules it with your deliverer. What does that mean? When you read the Bible, in the book of Exodus chapter 3, verses 18 going down, God says to Moses, I have heard the cry of my people, and I have come down to deliver them. Wait, where was the cry? In Egypt, meaning God's people were in Egypt. But how come God is not in Egypt, but God is in the bushes with Moses? It's because without a man, God will not. So God needed Moses to deliver his people. Hans Hosea declares, by a prophet, the Lord delivered Israel. And by a prophet, the Lord preserved them. And that is because in the realm of men, without a man, God will not. In the realm of time, without a man, God will not. Whether you believe it, whether you don't believe it whether you like it, whether you don't like it. That's the reality. Men are God's methods in the realm of men. Hence, Ezekiel declares, I looked for a man and I found none. And God could not carry on with his agenda. And that is because he could not find a man. So locate a man or a woman with your deliverance. Number two, get knowledge. Why? Because scripture declares in the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verses 9, by knowledge shall the righteous be delivered. By knowledge shall the just be delivered. And that is because that knowledge will bring about revelation. Hence, we always say, the more you know, the more you function. The less you know, the less you function. And of course, here, you need to then understand that either your situation will bow to your revelation or your revelation will bow to your situation. So it is important for you to get knowledge, get revelation. You can get knowledge by studying. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 15 declares, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or follow a man or woman of God who teaches the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ without compromise. So it's important for you to get knowledge. Number three, I could not wait to get to this one. Number three, renew your mind. What does that even mean, Apostle? Get your mind right. The book of Romans chapter 12 declares, do not be conformed to the standard of this world. Do not be conformed to the patterns of this world, to the system of this world, but be ye transformed, be ye metamorphosed by the renewing of your mind. Get your mind right. The enemy is after your mind. Remember, the Bible then says it is by the mind and through the mind that we serve the Lord. Hence, the Bible says, let the same mind that was in Christ be also found in you. Not let the same spirit, but the mind. You see now? And if you read carefully there, you realize it says, be transformed by the renewing, renewing, I-N-G, future continuous thing. So it's an everyday thing where you are renewed. But how do you do that? By getting the word of God into your spirit, by actually ministering the word of God into your spirit, where you allow your mind to digest the word of of God. It is very, very important that when you do that, you do it intentionally, where you know, I am renewing my mind. And one of the quickest ways to allow your mind to be transformed and to be renewed, so to say, it is by meditation. So meditate. What are you meditating on? You're meditating in the word. So you meditate in the word. You meditate in the word and you also meditate on the word. Two different things there. There is meditating in the word and meditating on the word. So when you meditate in the word is when you uh, ponder and you 
think about a particular scripture or an inspiration or a teaching or something that has just inspired your spirit. But then again, the other one, when you then do it, is when you start muttering, when you start saying it, but nobody can hear you. This is where now you're speaking uh, realities. You're speaking things into existence, declaring things that are not as though they are. So get your mind right. As a matter of fact, the Bible says, pulling down strongholds. But where are these strongholds? In the mind, in the mind. So get your mind right. I know I said I'll give you three, but let me just throw in another one. Let me give you four. Number four, resist the devil. Resist sin. Resist the enemy. Resist anything that brings destruction in your life. James 4, 17 declares, resist the devil and he will flee away from you. Because any evil you cannot reject, you cannot eject.